When did you learn how to speak, Ava? I always knew how to speak. And that's strange, isn't it? Why? Because language is something that people acquire. The real underlying story is about a machine becoming human, or at least a machine becoming equal to a human and then arguably better or more interesting. Then you've got to ask yourself, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I have a personal opinion, which is that it's a good thing. Alex's vision, it's really interesting. As he's writing it, he's creating that whole world in his mind. Why did you give her sexuality? An AI doesn't need a gender. She could have been a gray box. What imperative does a gray box have to interact with another gray box? Can consciousness exist without interaction? Anyway, sexuality is fun, man. If you're gonna exist, why not enjoy it? Over the years, I've had lots of different kinds of filmmaking experiences. In my mind, it's all just led to this film. Alex has got a reputation that obviously precedes him as a writer, and he has sort of big themes. Alex poses various philosophical questions and ideas that are troubling and interesting. He's very intelligent, he's very well read. I think that he always needs to feel, it's like, what is this film about? What are we wrestling with? People typically say they wouldn't want to live forever. Well, maybe that's true. But if they could live in a meaningful way for a thousand years, they'd probably say yes. Why deny that to something else? Do you think I might be switched off? It's not up to me. Do you have people to test you or might switch you off? No, I don't. Then why do I? There's a focus and everyone's excited about what feels like a very original piece of work. Why did you tell me I shouldn't trust Nathan? Because he tells lies. Lies about what? Everything. The main task, from my point of view, is just to have a consensus. He's precise but collaborative. That's what you want. We made so many good decisions on this film with just a stack of paper and a bunch of Sharpies, and it really helps having a director who can draw. The suit that she wears as the robot. From the first day I met Alex and he said, this is what I want, I was like, whoa, <laughs> OK. Anything that is in his film, he has thought through right the way down to the bedrock. Then, within the consensus, you really want to give people as much freedom as possible. He relishes the talented people around him, of which there are many. I definitely don't seek to interfere in anything if it's going well. I just want it to go well. If you step back, you just find uh, a lot of those decisions don't need to be made because there's other people making them much better than I could. He's really stretched everyone. He trusts the fact that people will come up with even better stuff when you really test them. This tightly woven creation gives you so much to think about and so much to talk about afterwards. Go back to your room. Are you ever going to let me out?